Let's talk about short circuits. I know, I know, it's not necessarily a happy subject, but it is a necessary one. And one area where short circuits are especially dangerous and costly is in the world of automotive applications. And when it comes to automotive designs, circuit protection is a big deal. Our power devices need to protect our designs from thermal shutdown and overcurrent conditions. What we need is a solution with built-in circuits to safeguard against short circuit events. And you know what? That's exactly what we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Modern automotive applications require a variety of circuit protections and functions to safeguard against short circuit conditions. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Nick Ikuda from Rome Semiconductor and I investigate the details of Rome's intelligent power device, the role that adjustable OCP circuit and adjustable OCP mask time plays in this solution, and the benefits that Rome's automotive intelligent power device can bring to your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this subject from Rome Semiconductor. Hi, Nick. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi. Hi there. Okay, so we're talking about Rome's automotive intelligent power device today. But Nick, first, what exactly is an IPD? Well, take a look at the power MOSFET as a switch device. If the power MOSFET is turned on when a load is short-circuited for some reason, a large current will flow through the MOSFET, causing it to heat up and fail. Now, on the right-hand side is a structure of an intelligent power device, IPD. And IPD integrates overcurrent protection, thermal shutdown function, energy absorption junction circuit, and MOSFET into a single chip. In a simple term, IPD can be thought of as a MOSFET with a built-in protection circuit. The overcurrent protection circuit prevents the IPD from uh, being destroyed by the excessive current, and the thermal shutdown circuit prevents damage due to uh, overheating. And also, the active cramp circuit is useful for absorbing the energy of inductive loads. All right. So, Nick, can you explain the development process of these IPDs a bit as well? Sure. Loam's IPD development is based on three main elements as illustrated in here. Process technology, circuit design, and packaging technology. We own fabs ourselves for both front-end, a second wafer process, and back-end a packaging processes. Here on the top in green is our state-of-the-art dedicated IC fabrication process technology for IPD provides a low on resistance vertical MOS switches that can be built on the same die as CMOS process. On the left in blue, a various circuit design IP cores such as adjustable overcurrent limit and mask time provides ease of use of the product and enhances the protection circuit to prevent the catastrophic events. The third element on the light in purple is in-house package development. Also contribute to accomplishing the high liability product for automotive application, as well as improvement in thermal performances with the heat dissipating dye bonding material technology. So Nick, where are IPDs used specifically in automotive applications? Yeah, IPDs are used in various applications in today's vehicle subsystems. For example, IPDs are used as a switch for ignition coil in engine control unit, high beam, low beam control switch in headlamp units, controlling solenoid coils in automatic transmission controls, ABS control, and active suspension systems. We're seeing more and more mechanical relays and fuses are replaced with IPDs recently. Fantastic. So can you walk us through a typical use case of an IPD? Okay. Mechanical fuses protect loads from overcurrent, but it will blow if current exceeds its latent limit. And although tripped fuses can be replaced, you will need to pay extra time and cost to do so. Now, if replaced with IPD, 
an overcurrent protection circuit that prevents the flow of current when exceeding the low latent value. And by turning off the power switch, it makes it possible to protect both load and IPD self. The IPD also includes a function that notifies the MCU of overcurrent detection with an arrow flag, allowing the MCU to perform necessary controls. All right, so are there different types of IPDs? Mm -hmm. IPDs are separated into two different groups. One is low side IPD and the other is high side IPD. And this is an overview of our low side IPD product offering, such as variable through rate control and diagnostic function. We have in-house dedicated process technology for IPD products as shown in this slide on the left hand side, starting from the conventional by CD MOS process to latest vertical trench MOSFET process technology. With these in-house fab, we offer IPDs on resistance of integrated switch, ranging from lowest 10 milli ohms to several hundreds of. So what about those high side IPDs? Yeah, here, like the low side IPD, we offer different set of functions and different values of own resistance of the integrated switch with high side IPDs as well. For the high side IPD, we have unique functions such as variable overcurrent setting to accommodate different types of load together. Great. Now, what does Rome offer in terms of IPDs? Yeah, let me highlight one IPD product from our portfolio. It is a high side IPD with adjustable overcurrent limit and its mask time. So I'm interested in that adjustable current limit you mentioned earlier. Can you talk about that in a bit more depth? Yep. Here listed are different types of function and features of our IPD product, but let's focus on adjustable current limit feature in high side IPD family. We'll show you how this function works and how it solves the problem with a conventional protection approach. Let me first explain the focus product BD1HX045 a high side 45 mm ohm IPD. Key features of this part is Douglas function to detect open load short to the battery, thermal shutdown and overcurrent event and report to host micro via status output. Protection function prevents the damage to the IPD itself and let host system to know the faulty condition at the same time. Series lineup for protection function behavior to select from either latch off or auto recovery when by detecting abnormal temperature rise. For latch off, it behaves like an existing mechanical fuses. Lastly, number three is adjustable overcurrent limit threshold and overcurrent protection mass time. This feature enables it engineers to set overcurrent limit and set delay time about internal overcurrent limit period according to the type of the load used. Okay, so I know that overcurrent protection circuits can have a lot of issues, right? Can you address that as well? Sure. The fascia value of overcurrent protection circuit is typically set high as possible to allow the large current of the capacity load to flow. However, high overcurrent protection value is not suitable for inductive and resistive load as this does not have a large current to flow. If the overcurrent protection value is too high, abnormal low current during the normal operation may not be detected, which may cause the load to become damaged. At the same time, as a stable a capacity below current is smaller than the inlash current, it is not suitable for this purpose either. In addition, high overcurrent protection limit requires thicker PCB traces, which increases PCB cost. Okay, so Nick, how can we solve these issues? Yeah, we have integrated adjustable current limit protection circuit to this new product. We call it AOCP. In addition to the internal preset overcurrent limit, adjustable overcurrent limit can set a new limit simply by adding external register on set pin. With this, now IPD has two overcurrent detection points one with internal preset OCP level and the other with value of value to accommodate different types of load and current requirements during the normal operating current conditions. However, with the AOCP alone, there is a possibility of overcurrent being detected when in large current from the capacity load flows. 
So we added an adjustable mask time circuit that masks the AOCP for a certain amount of time. The mask time of AOCP can sit by changing a capacitor value between delay pin and ground. During this mask time, an internal preset over current limit that is different from AOCP prevents damage even if out is shorted to ground. This internal OCP value is set as high as possible according to the capability of integrated power MOSFET. The following are two operating samples when AOCP and adjustable OCP mass time functions are integrated in IPD. The first is an example of capacitive load such as lighting bulbs. Inrush current is protected by internal OCP while current during the normal operation condition is protected by AOCP. The other use case is a motor loads. Adjustable OCP mask time provides effective protection not only against the inlet current during the IPD startup, but also against the motor lock current as shown in this figure. Excellent. Well, Nick, can you recap your main points for me? Okay, here's the takeaway from our talk today. Technology collaboration of Loom's in-house process package and circuit design provides a variety of unique products that fits the different application needs. And with integrated uh, protection functions and unique feature sets, IPDs are expanding their use in automotive applications. Lastly, Loom's IPD with AOCP and adjustable OCP mass time feature supports various design requirements keeping high robustness of the system at the minimum cost. Fantastic. Well, Nick, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yep, thank you very much. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Rome Semiconductor. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash 